as the UC CEO says, Fiat the Lux, let there be light. Good morning, everybody. My name's Emil, and I'm here with Professor Suji Nakamura, the Nobel Laureate of 2014 in the realm of physics. So, Professor, in this last year, your name has become quite the common one around campus. But I think one thing people need to know is why you received the honor of, an, of becoming named a Nobel Laureate. Oh, uh, why? Because uh, I invented high brightness blue LEDs in '93, and since that time, you know, many people expect you to. Uh, you could uh, get a uh, receive a Nobel Prize in your future, something. Like that. Wow, really? So <laughs> yeah. it's been people have known about it for a long time that you were going to receive this award. Yes, that's yeah. amazing. And and so, what's it been like this process of actually going to Stockholm, receiving the award, and everything? Oh, uh, after announcement Nobel Prize, I have been so busy. You know? <laughs> really? Yeah, especially for the for preparing for the, the for Nobel Week, mm -hmm. we had to go to the uh, Stockholm to receive a Nobel Prize. We had to do all kinds of things to, for preparation. And also, uh, a lot of mass media uh, came to yeah. for interview and uh, to handle mass media. It's been so busy. I can yeah. imagine, I can imagine. So what has been your favorite part of the whole process? Oh, whole <laughs> favorite part <laughs> is, uh, I think, uh, Nobel week, so we had to go to Stockholm to receive the Nobel Prize. One week was, was uh, used to, for, as a Nobel week, so especially for Nobel uh, ceremony to mm -hmm. receive the Nobel Prize. Uh, that ceremony is a great ceremony. Yeah. I can imagine. I can absolutely imagine. So one thing I, I read when I was uh, researching you is that the development of this uh, blue LED wasn't a smooth process. I heard there were a lot of roadblocks. People thought it couldn't be done. So would you like to explain your process of how you worked through it and kept going despite the obstacles? Oh yeah, basically for, to develop blue LEDs, there are two kinds of materials. Um, one is zinc selenite based material, another is uh, gallium nitride based material. And basically, uh, all of the scientists selected zinc selenite based material to develop blue LEDs. And only few people selected gallium nitride based material. Oh. Uh, there's a uh, reason. Uh, one reason. The reason is uh, zinc selenite based material is crystal cold, is very good. And on the other hand, gallium nitride is uh, like a crappy material. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And nobody expected, you know, we could develop bread using gallium nitride based material because crystal quartz is so poor, like a very like, <laughs> crappy material. Really? <laughs> yeah. And, um, but it might just go and select the gallium nitride based material and uh, luckily I could develop bread with this. Lucky, yeah. I don't know if luck factors <laughs> in it. I've heard you're yeah. a very, very uh, genius professor. Um, so I think one, another question that I've heard a lot is why are blue LEDs so significant? Why was that worthy of the Nobel Prize? Because I, I, I think when people think of blue LEDs, they think, you know, you know maybe in a keychain or like something. So, yeah. so what does that mean for the world, the invention of blue LEDs? Yeah, so basically using blue LEDs, you could make white LEDs. White uh -huh. LEDs used for the all kind of uh, lighting, lighting, you know? Uh -huh. so, it's, um, so, and especially we can make a LED uh, bulb lamp. And in that case, efficiency of LED bulb lamp is 10 times higher than that of conventional incandescent bulb lamp. Wow. And so also in comparison to the uh, fluorescent lamp, the efficiency is two times higher than the fluorescent lamp. Wow. So by replacing all of conventional uh, 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 bulb uh, lighting, mm -hmm. we can save a lot of energy. For example, DOE, Department of Energy, estimate by 2030, we can uh, eliminate how many? Maybe 30, oh no, 30 power plant. Wow. 30 power plant by 2030, only in the United States. Wow. So all over the world, it become five times as well or something. Huh? That's so, amazing. Yeah, so so you can, how, how, how many nuclear power plant is yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a huge energy reduction. That's incredible. Uh, also, another big advantage merit is uh, so third country. Third country, there are no electricity. Ah. I think how many? So no electricity. In those regions, people use like kerosene lamp. Kerosene. Okay. Kerosene lamp with oil. oil right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. So every year they have to buy oil. It costs one hundred dollars per year. Whoa. But now using white LED battery and solar cell, 
So daytime, they charge a battery using solar cell, and nighttime, they can operate white LEDs using charged battery. Wow. And that, that, this system cost is only $10. What? Ten dollars, and uh, its uh, lifetime is almost uh, three years. This lifetime, they have a battery. Battery is still not; it's a bigger problem. Uh -huh. But three years only ten ten dollars. Wow! It's very cheap. Also, this is clean energy, clean right. technology, you know. That's amazing. Yeah. So also kerosene is very. It causes a fire sometimes. Right. Very dangerous. So, so South Korea they use clean technology for lighting. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. So yeah. now that you've received the highest honor that you can receive in physics, just about what's next for you? Oh, next is uh, we uh, develop the next generation solid, solid state lighting using uh, laser dial, blue laser dial. Wow. Yeah, and uh, using blue laser dial, we, we call uh, laser lighting. Using laser lighting, we, ca we can de uh, save more energy. Efficiency should be much uh, still higher than that of L white LEDs. Wow. That's amazing. So is there anything you'd like to say to the students here at UCSB? Oh, yeah. I think uh, it, in, in order to achieve breakthrough in, in for something, mm -hmm. I think you have to take a risk. Mm -hmm. Because I told you, I selected a garment based material. Mm -hmm. Which material has, a, a, you know, basically all of science select a different material. Right. But uh, I went a different direction. I took a risk. So, you know, <laughs> then you gotta go yeah, for it. if you take a risk, it, the chance is very small, success percentage is very, very small, uh -huh. but uh, some of the success in that case, it, it'd be a big break. So you, know? so you just gotta go for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you, you know, here you have Professor Nakamura coming for a second prize in Nobel Physics. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.